Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your horoscope for July 2024. So for this month you've got um, Mercury on the 3rd of July moving into Leo. That is going to be your ninth house. You might be thinking of studying or going away somewhere, travel. Um, on the 12th you're going to have Venus moving into that area as well. So that could be... Um, enjoying what you're doing in that area as well but there could definitely be like some sort of like workshop that's coming up for you there on the 12th uh, on the 21st you're going to have mars in gemini so that is going to be in your seventh house that's the house marriage house that could be um motivated to do things more with your partner or to smooth things over but it also could be arguments there too so it could be restraint or arguments uh, and then on the 26th, they got Venus, which is in going to be in, uh, sorry, Mercury moving into Virgo. And that is going to be in your 10th house. So that's where you might be thinking of a, a certain um, career, could be about signing contracts uh, to do with your career as well, or looking over paperwork too. When we look at the cards here, Sagittarius, there's, there is an announcement to be made. It's like you're very proud. It could be like achievement or some sort of reward coming up to you. But it's like you're having to be the teacher here. You're teaching other people. You're showing them what to do. You're quite excited. There's a new phase in your life coming up here. Um, and I feel like this is to do with your work. I feel like you have a lot of knowledge here with work. And I feel like you're, you're there to teach others, show them what to do. People are looking at you and they need to learn off you for this month to do with like, your work. I feel like you bring up the app, you raise the vibration in that area, area of your life and you make it more of a fun place to work at as well. When we come to family, there's a thing of like nesting here, it's actually with siblings like nesting. Um, there could be someone in your family who's a little bit selfish, who wants to take over, who really wants to like boss you around and I feel like they need to take a step back from you this month, like you need like a time out from them. There's also a sense, there is a sense of putting things in order, making sure like the T's are crossed, the dots are I, like making sure everything is done around the house in a, in a particular way, I feel like, for this month ahead. But I feel like you just in a break from this person who's a little bit bossy, like they overtake everything, and if you're not too careful, they like to come in and they sort of take over a little bit here. So when we look at relationships here, Sagittarius, like the Cheshire cat, that's coming up here okay I feel like you're going to meet someone that's someone around you who's very quirky who's quite smart they they know what they want they're someone who's really intelligent um, they can be very cheeky and they can the way they do things could be like in riddles as well you're trying to really I feel like slow things down with a relationship around you you're not wanting to go too fast ahead you're wanting to take it easy and really trying to slow it down with this person but they are quite eager to speed things up with you um, I feel like when it comes to friends, there could be a juggling act happening here, but spending time with friends or um, some like a relationship with like a partner here. I feel like there, um, there is a certain like a wish of being fulfilled here when it comes to friends um, to around you as well. Money. Uh, finances may be hard for you, a little bit of hard finances for this month ahead, Sagittarius. When we look at, there is an eager and fun sense to go away somewhere and to travel and to explore the world or explore somewhere new. I feel like you've got someone with you. They're unsure and they're a little bit nervous, but I feel like though you're really encouraging them to come along and move um, forward with you. But you're, it's time like you're really there and excited to, like a little kid going out to a new world to explore. I feel like you're starting walking. I feel like you're starting to go walking. You're starting to exercise more. You're working on breathing. I feel like there's a thing here of work, of working on your breathing as well here. Um, Sagittarians. And you're really like, it's like you're on a type rope here. But you're really to to go out and explore and look after your health. And look after everything in your life a bit more, more as well. That didn't work. So, let me just see what else I can get for you Sagittarians. 
Sagittarius, this is a month where you need to explore everything new. It's like you have a new set of eyes. It's like you're exploring a whole new world. You are ready to go ahead to move forward. You don't care what people say around you. For you're doing what you want to do. And you're ready to be free. You're ready to start a new chapter in your life ahead. Okay, thank you for your likes, shares and your comments. And I'll see you for my next video. So bye for now.